I win the national championship. Yeah, that's our goal. It's always our goal. Yeah, if we fall a little short, then we try to go to the national tournament. If we fall short of that, try to win the conference. But the, the goal has to be the same. You know, I, that's what you try to do at the beginning. Every team should want to be winning. You know, and if, it, if you come up a little short, then you do. But you, know, you can't. You know, we're not shooting for just the playoffs. You know, if it happens, we'd be we'd be delighted. Is the team right there with you on that? With that mentality of uh, are they? I doubt it. You know, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know if everybody has that kind of mentality. You really can't teach it. But once you start, that's the goal. The goal should be to try to achieve as much as you can achieve. Sometimes it's easier for a coach to say that, but that's really how you have to approach it. I mean, you know, it's not arrogant or egotistical. It's reality. You'd like to win the national championship. Can we do it? No, oh, we're two and zero. We're going to have to play hard to be good in that conference. And I don't know any numbers of where we're going to be. But if you know, it's a conference. It's it's a it's a strong basket men's basketball conference. I, I'm sure there's a lot of strong women's teams also. But for the men's standpoint, this is a strong conference. It's yeah, I think it sort of ranks right up there with the AMC, which was a, a real strong conference we were in a few years ago. But there's a lot of teams that have a lot of talent. They emphasize basketball. And that's that's perfect. That's just where we want to be. I mean, if you're going to win every game, it wouldn't be much fun. Really, there are no positions. We want to play people who are doing the best job. You know, it's that's that's the offense. Four around and just every time you pass, you pick away or follow the ball. It's nothing confusing. It's just uh, it's really organized street ball. Spacing, eighteen foot spacing. You know, just uh, we're just going to go with what we have. You know, and uh, right now we we were starting uh, Jalen and uh, no, we, excuse me, we were starting Calvin and uh, Jeremy, TJ, Yondell, and Luson. That's a good group, but it could you can I could interchange some names in there easily. You know, it would be very it's very easy to interchange those names. So uh, I don't think I put too much emphasis on that. It's who's ever working, you know, who's ever going to come and uh, do what we you know we have a tough system running. You have to be running at all times. You can't jog up the floor when you're playing that high-powered offense. You can't do it. You have to sprint. So you know some of that'll di dictate who gets minutes. You know, where do we go? Sometimes the coach who Get so wrapped up in winning games that uh, you play five or six guys, and uh, you, you just can't give anybody else any more time. So those five or six guys know that they're the five or six guys. Sometimes that could work against you. When you have nine or ten guys that play, the first five people playing are getting the most minutes. They understand that hey, I got to earn these minutes. I got to keep these minutes, or somebody else is on my tail. It's it's a good situation. I mean, our practices are real competitive, but not. We don't do any of the talking and all the nonsense because we're a team. But they are really competitive, and it's teaching them a lot of different things. If everybody's working hard, sometimes the leader thing is overrated. You know, you only need a leader when people are laying down. These guys come to work. You know, everybody's kind of the leader. You know, I mean, it's there hasn't there haven't really seen that on the court so far. It's just too early to tell, but. Everybody's unselfish. Everybody moves the ball. I don't, you know. I think there's a lot of strong personalities. I'm not sure you need a leader in this situation. I, you know, it's I, it really. It, you can go like down nine guys. <laughs> Any one of them could be a leader. Ten guys. You know, that's just the way it is. They they understand what it takes to work. Some of the seniors really know this is it, and that's what you want to see early. You know, it's your last year. Do what you got to do. It feels like it's funny, so. <laughs> no doubt about that. It feels like it's playing in that hotel room by the airport in Buffalo the other night and felt 27. But uh, no, it's, you know, it's, coaching is the same. You know, I got a good assistant too. You got to remember, it. Gabe, Gabe knows what's going on. This isn't somebody just hanging around. This is a guy who can coach anywhere. So, it, you know, that's part of staying, you know, and that's part of, part of being able to uh, last 27 years. You got to have a good, a good guy next to you. And, uh, you know, it's you never know. Every year you take it the same way. Uh, but this year, I got a little excited a little later than I usually do. We had a good recruiting class. That always makes you excited. So every year you evaluate it. One of the things you can't do, and I would never do, is you have to be excited because that's what you owe the players. So I still have them. I'm unhappy. You know, I can still get unhappy. I, you know,